Hello there, Wendon here. Welcome to my living room. Today we are doing the Geek Fuel unboxing. This is the December box and it's I realize it's January now, but it arrived to me the 22nd or the 29th, I don't know because I got two packages. Um, and I was on a holiday vacation, so I was not at home. So I'm doing this now, I hope nobody minds that it's a little bit late. If you for some reason have missed what Geek Fuel is, it is a company that delivers monthly mystery boxes. If you click the link below, you will also get $3 off of your first box, which is can come in really handy actually. But yeah, uh, let's dig into my December box of Geek Fuel. So here we go. Oh, it's actually not paper this time. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put this down, so I'm just gonna show you this instead. Um, the first thing we see is 8-bit gift wrap. I am assuming that this is gift wrap. Whoop. It's really pretty. It has like Zelda... It's like 8-bit stuff, so it's like Zelda, Mario, Mega Man, whatever things. There's a lot of Triforces, I love Triforces, and keys and swords and arrows, hearts and stuff on this one. I, it's different on every single different. How, how do you like gift wrap? I always buy them on rolls, you know, at least here in Sweden, that's how we do it. Okay, well this works. I don't want to unfold everything, but yeah, <laughs> that, that looks really nice. I will definitely use this for someone nerdy's like birthday okay so I unfold the paper which I had a big struggle with last time ah it's actually working this time, nice we have Geek Fuel magazine as always, magazine <laughs> magazine yeah Star Wars like items and like you can get cheap stuff cheap nerdy stuff even wait what? you can get a millennium Millennium Falcon quadcopter. Oh my god, for $90? I totally want that. That's so epic. Uh, next item. Two games on Steam. Not bad, not bad. We'll check those out. I really like these kind of like new games, but they have the 8-bit, 16-bit, whatever uh, look. It, it, it looks amazing. What is this? <laughs> it's like a... Uh, Christmas card, I guess? Are these the droids you were looking for? And it's R2-D2 and uh, Geek Fuel droid and it looks like a BB-8 there as well in the background or something. It's really cute. It says Prob probably not, but hopefully you find what you're looking for this holiday season. That's pretty cute. And then there's Geek Fuel stuff in the background. And a little... so you can send it. That's, that's really neat actually. I thought it was pretty cute. Too bad the holiday season's over. Next year. Okay. That's that. Liquid candy sabers. So it's candy that looks like lightsabers that you eat, I suppose. I guess we'll do it right now. Let's do it. Let's rip it open. There's little stickers with it that looks like the handle of a Light lightsaber. Lightsaber! Ka -choo -choo. Um, I guess it's like liquid on the inside though. I'm scared what will happen if I chew on it. Okay. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Okay, so it's pretty tasty, like the, the liquid. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the whole thing or not. Because the white stuff doesn't taste anything. Really. Okay, that was pretty cool though. Gotta admit. Next item, moving on. <laughs> this, oh my god. <laughs> it's a BB-8 rubber eraser. Jumbo eraser. Love BB-8. It's a new movie, it's so cute all the time. 
I don't write with such pens very often. I don't write very often at all because I, you know, I'm using the computer. But on the other side, would you want to use this cute little rubber? I mean, I probably just keep it for decor instead because it's way too cute. Next item is a black box. Hey, um, let me see if there's something inside. Blue ball. Wow. I just keep forgetting that I have candles here and that maybe I could burn something. Go away. Chew. What is this? It says Star Wars in the bottle. Bottom. Oh my god. It's the Death Star on the inside. I'm guessing it might be an ice cube. Because there's a hole in the top so maybe you put water in it and put it in the freeze and then... That's a hell of a big ice cube though. That's cool. Cool as fuck. I am gonna try this out. That's really cool. And the shirt of the month, my friends. Well, it looks so big, but I don't think it is. The Joker and... Uh, oh, what is it called? Jack? From the... N -n 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 Nightmare Before Christmas? Yes. That's a really cool mix-up, I think. I have actually not seen Night A Nightmare Before Christmas. I really wanted to see it for a really long ass time. I don't know why I haven't. But now I have to go and check it out so I can wear this shirt with pride because I'm sure I'm, I love that movie. And the Joker is awesome, so... It's really good looking. I like it a lot. Dark shirts are my favorite. I'm just like... I have a black soul. And this might be the last item. This is why the box was so heavy. I was like, what the fuck? Homer Simpson's Little Book of Laziness. <laughs> okay, what is this about? Few men have the extraordinary ability to get absolutely nothing done, like Homer Simpson. Okay, I'm just gonna have to browse it. Whoa, there's like stuff in it. It's like a letter. <laughs> Damn, it's stickers. Really big stickers, actually. I'm... It's not very really normal to get big stickers. <laughs> Most tavern. <laughs> Great commercial. Nuclear safety inspector. <laughs> this might be a poster. That is a poster, I am assuming. Yay! This could be pretty cool to frame in. Like, I like this one, like, really close up one. It's really pretty. I'm just gonna put it back here so I have everything in one place. This is so cool. Look at this. It's like, uh, you know, where Homer works, I guess. Uh, and there's like little post-its <laughs> that I po put over like certain buttons and then press to make a loud annoying noise stop. And it's like core heat removal button. <laughs> it's uh, pretty funny. Whoa! Really a creative book though. I, I really like when they think outside of the box a little bit. I really like that. Put some effort into it. There's like all these kinds of small series books and everything inside of it. Uh, so that was this month's Geek Fuel box. I really, really enjoyed this one as well. I've had two boxes so far and I'm happy with both of them. Once again, there is actually no single item that I wouldn't want. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure you rate it thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want your own Geek Fuel box, then click on the link below to get $3 off. See you next time, guys. Have a good one.